Welcome back to the Morning Blend. One of our co-workers, Tom Fisher, and his wife, Debbie, recently lost their beloved dog, Sable. Isn't she beautiful? We all watch Sable's adventures on Facebook, and now they feel a real emptiness, of course, without their pet. And the loss of a pet can be devastating. Pet owners experience real grief when their four-legged friends are gone. Rochelle Lejeune is back from the Wisconsin Humane Society, where they offer resources and tips for grieving pet owners. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank yeah. you. Well, let's get to that in just a little bit. Yes. Let's start with something a little sweeter and happier. Yeah. And this is a little pup that you brought for adoption. Yes, this is little Nathan. He's a two-year-old dachshund mix. He's available at our um, Ozaki campus up in Sockville. Mm. So, he is so mellow. He is. He's just got the greatest personality. He's a perfect little lap warmer and just what a wonderful small breed little dog. He's not going to get any bigger. Um, he's already microchipped, neutered, and vaccinated, so he's all set to go home. He just does whatever you want. As you were kind of moving around, he's like, well, yeah. whatever, whatever, sure. yeah. put yeah. me here, I'll sit he's there. He's not camera shy at all. No, totally relaxed. Yeah. So sweet. He loves people. He's just so docile, and again, looking for a great home. No health issues. No, no. He's just the picture of health, and you know, we really hope that he can find a home sometime soon because he's such a loving dog. And you know, adult dogs, you can see their personality um, as it is when you meet with mm -hmm. them. You know, as puppies change and grow over time, but adult dogs, like his personality personality is not going to change. So. When do you consider a dog an adult? Um, once they're past about um, a year old. Okay. So um, when they're in the adolescent phase, they're usually about under a year. Six mm -hmm. months and under is really a puppy. But, you know, until they're about a year, um, we consider them still puppies. So He's okay. wonderful. Yeah. So you're going to have lots of years with this yes. little one. Yeah. Let's oh. talk a little bit about what we mentioned a second ago about grieving the loss of a pet. I would yes. think, especially initially, the first few days are the hardest because mm. you expect to hear your dog or Definitely. you're used to like a daily walk and Absolutely. all of those things how, how can people what, what suggestions do you have for getting through those yeah. first few days sure well the first thing we tell people is to know that grieving is a normal process there's nothing wrong with grieving you know pets are family members for most of us so um, you would grieve the loss of a family member the same like you would with a pet so it's only natural to grieve the loss of your pet um, the first couple days you go through those common stages of denial so you may hear them trotting down the hallway or um, you think that you see them out of the corner of your eye mm -hmm. um, you also may experience anger Sometimes what you could have done, what you didn't do, what you did do. Um, and then again, coming to acceptance and peace. The final stages of understanding that, you know, those memories bring smiles and not tears. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. always recommend with people being surrounded by a supportive um, group of people is very, very helpful. Unfortunately, not everyone understands that the loss of a pet is a huge, significant event in our lives. And mm -hmm. um, for a lot of us, it's a very um, emotional time. And we want to surround ourselves with people who are loving and understanding. Um, because, you know, if you hear it's just a dog or you can get another one, those are, you know, very hurtful um, to some people. And, you know, you just want to make sure that you have a supportive group uh, to talk to. I think that's a good point because sometimes it's not you who loses a pet, but somebody else. And, and what do you say and how do you sympathize? Yeah. You know, I mean, and so many times, oh my gosh, she's so <laughs> a lover. I mean, <laughs> so many times it's like you know your pet is with you for 10 12 13 18 yes. up to 20 if you're really lucky years yes. and they go through so many life events with you That's and and to you know when that happens it's, it's really difficult do you have tips for people also when they're going through the tough decision of having to make a choice to euthanize mm -hmm. or not you know oftentimes we say what's in the best interest of the animal yeah. you know a lot of times we want to keep animals with us you know we have just an inability to really let go, um, but really considering what is in the best interest of the animal and also what is your vet recommending. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes medical tests will tell us a lot about the animal, whether or not they're suffering. Um, keeping a daily tracking log of, you know, his eating patterns, drinking, exercise, and so forth to know whether or not he's really enjoying his quality of life um, and consulting with your veterinarian because they will be able to give you a very honest answer. Yeah. So. Um, and also, you know, again, too, we always talk to families about, you know, everybody else in their family, understanding that it's a very individual process um, mm -hmm. of grieving, but that everybody grieves in their own ways. So, you know, family members, um, you know, we talk to quite a bit about coping um, with their children as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough so. on the kids, too. Yeah, yeah. And I know you have resources available at the Wisconsin we, Humane we Society. Do. Yes, mm -hmm. we actually offer a pet loss support seminar. So um, that's something that we offer at our Milwaukee campus. Okay. And um, you can go on our website to check out those details. 
tales. We talk about, um, you know, children, how to how to talk to them about the loss of a pet because so many times it's their first time dealing with death. Yeah. You know, it's the first time having to lose a pet um, and they form very strong attachments. And so a couple of things, you know, we recommend in that seminar are for, for both adults and children alike, you know, um, creating a memorial for your pet. Yeah. Um, having, you know, keeping their collar, favorite toy, etc. Um, also, you know, keeping up with your routine. Don't, you know, stray from your daily routine even though you may feel distracted or withdrawn or depressed um, and also you know for children to being honest with them and sharing with them you know what happened um, and helping them to understand that it was nobody's fault. Having you know? a conversation. Yes. Nathan is available as well. You saw the information for the Humane <laughs> Society Stockville. We'll be right back.